you've probably clicked on this video because you have also been advertised these products again and again and again and like me you just had to know are these eco products worth the money i feel really uncomfortable about this i don't understand why it exists <laughs> i think i've broken it so today we are looking at five different products from three different companies and we're going to be testing them on their packaging their ingredients their cost and their company themselves let's get right into it so first up is what oh hello <laughs> is wild the uh reusable deodorant people <laughs> so the packaging that this uh came to me in i had this uh delivered versus buying it in shops but you can buy it in shops which i think is a really nice alternative um depending on where you fall on the is it better to shop online versus brick and mortar debate <laughs> So I had this delivered and it came in very, very slimmed down packaging, um, all cardboard, all recyclable, apart from a stupid fucking leaflet. I hate when companies put leaflets in their packaging. It's such a waste. Why? All the information is there online or like printed on the box. You don't need a leaflet. <laughs> but the actual product itself, the packaging is like, I think it is plastic packaging. It doesn't feel like metal, but the point is, is that you keep it forever. So it's not a throwaway it's not a throwaway item um, and the actual little deodorant thingies come in fully compostable packaging so I love that. Wild's packaging gets a 9 out of 10 uh, it lost a point because of that stupid fucking leaflet Wild lose the leaflet this has no nasties nothing like that um, and it smells so freaking good like I got the pina colada scent and it is oh my goodness oh it's like it's heavenly like pineapple and like coconut and like oh it smells like holiday it smells amazing but let's take this on a field test and see how it compares to a normal deodorant so i'm testing wild eco-friendly deodorant versus dove classic not very friendly deodorant i'm gonna <laughs> go to jiu-jitsu and get very sweaty <laughs> And I'm not going to tell Lewis, my boyfriend, which arm. Okay, Wild is going under this one. Oh, it feels nice. And then Dove going under the other one. And then I'm going to get Lewis to smell my arms. <laughs> smell my arms when I get back and see how it holds up against Dove. Okay, we're just back from jiu-jitsu. I am very sweaty. Uh, so I'm going to get Lewis to smell. <laughs> to smell me and tell me which one smells like sweatier or nicer. I feel really uncomfortable about this. Do it for science. <laughs> for science. <laughs> so degrading. How's your sweatiness? That one. This one's that better. One. No, no, that one, that one's better. That one's definitely worse. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's the natural one. Is it? Mm-hmm. No way. That's the Dove one. Oh, wow. Okay, so Wild has passed the, <laughs> the martial arts sweat <laughs> test. Yeah, this bad boy gets 10 out of 10, 100%. Ingredients, 10 out of 10. Well done, Wild. So now let's talk about price. This is expensive, and considering that you have to spend quite a lot of money to try it and then you're stuck with this packaging you're kind of signing yourself up for using this company forever because you don't want to then like throw away the packaging that's the whole point is you're trying to reduce the throwing stuff away you can get free case codes online i actually think i have some if i do i'll put them down below you can use them to like get a free case with your order which saves a lot of money when you're looking at a normal deodorant which is costed between one and two pounds you're asking someone to spend over double what they were going to be spending on a deodorant so price it's sadly getting a 6 out of 10 because it's too expensive so now for the company themselves wild classes themselves as a carbon negative company which basically means that they offset more of their carbon usage than is required. I did a customer service test with them as well and I asked them a few questions. It took them seven hours to respond to me and they didn't really answer my question at all. Um, so they're a very good company but the customer service did let them down so they're getting eight out of ten. So all in all Wild is coming in at 33 out of 40 on my Kirsty's scale of 
goodness <laughs> and I I really do like it I love the smell I love the way that it goes on silky smooth I love the fact that it actually outperformed my previous chemically plastic deodorant I'm in love so the next company we're going to be talking about is small and the first product I have from them are their reusable cleaning sprays packaging for this I absolutely adore because the point of it is that you buy the the refill tube once ever and then you have it forever and you use that to dissolve your little tablet which comes in a compostable wrapper there is no waste so I love that idea also the fact that they're not shipping around water um, so that's like a big problem with normal cleaning sprays is the fact that it's 90% water and you have water in your tap so why would you like pay for all the fuel and all the emissions that are going to be involved with the transportation of tap water <laughs> it's still getting a 9 out of 10 though because it had a fucking information leaflet in the packaging we don't need it please okay 9 out of 10 small <laughs> On their website they talk about the fact that they are you know leading the innovation in terms of reducing the amount of chemical required to do the same um, level of cleaning so let's field test it so here in front of me I have set up a typical breakfast mess we've got dried in coffee stains we've got sticky jam greasy butter and uh, milk <laughs> Um, and we're gonna see how our eco bottle compares with some Dettol. So here it is in its uh, single-use plastic bottle. So the milk should come up pretty easy. Yep, one swipe that's gone. Dried on coffee stain. One, two and that's gone. Okay, what about the butter? yeah greasy and gross it's left a little bit of residue but if you go back over it then it's fine and the jam yeah it's the same came up straight away oh actually had to go back a few times with the jam but there you go it's cleaned beautifully as suspected <laughs> now for small Let's see milk shouldn't be a problem So that's done a bloody wonderful job look at that sparkling clean so as you can see they're onto something there they're using less chemicals and it's giving you the same amount of cleaning power i absolutely adore this and it's getting a 10 out of 10 for its ingredients so these bottles come in around two pounds for the actual bottle and then one pound for each dissolvable cleaning tablet. If you take off the one-off cost of the bottle, even with non-eco brands, even with like your normal cleaning brands, this is cheaper than a lot of brands and it's completely reusable and the best thing ever. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Small is currently working to bring themselves to be carbon neutral. They actually paid to have, a, it's called like a lifetime analysis, um, lifetime cycle analysis or something like that, where they figured out what the emissions of their products were. And it turns out that basically all, well, 70% of the emissions of their products come from you actually turning on like your washing machine. Obviously this doesn't apply to this product it applies to the next product we're talking about but that's like the company's biggest emissions problem so they're working with like trying to educate people on how to use your washing machine more eco-friendly and stuff like that their customer service was so good they gave me such a thorough answer to my question and they responded within an hour I was blown away by their customer service they get a 10 out of 10 for their company <laughs> this product gets 39 out of 40 you were so close to being perfect it's the leaflet the leaflet let you down but I still love you <laughs> to the next product from the same company is the uh, washing machine tablet majigs packaging I had a problem <laughs> I had a problem with their packaging cut to <laughs> what why is this so, why is this so difficult to open? This one? No, this says number three. Okay. What? And then... Oh, 
That seems so excessive. Okay, right. I get what they're trying to do here, but this is just such a pain in the ass. And I think I've broken it. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, like, I, I broke the box. I had to, like, tear into the box to get the thingamajigs out. Um, and, like, I'm not being stupid. I'm not just, like, I don't know how to use a cardboard box. Like, there is a problem with their packaging because it worked fine the first time and then I put it back in and then the second time I tried to pull it out the cardboard had become mangled um, and just it, it broke but everything is recyclable um, so they're getting a 5 out of 10 for the packaging ingredients so all our stuff from Jiu Jitsu last night you can see like how dirty on the knees everything is so we'll see we'll see if that comes out Again, same thing goes, they're using less chemicals per wash, so you're getting a 10 out of 10 for that. So the price of an individual one of these is 19 pence, so that's the easiest way to compare it to other um, types of uh, washing pod. So big brands are more expensive than that, so you're looking between sort of 20 and 30 pence. Brands like Surf and other budget brands are still cheaper, they're like 17 pence per wash, so it's getting a 6 out of 10. And then the company as well, the same company as before. So it also gets a 10 out of 10. <laughs> so that brings the small laundry capsule score to 31 out of 40, which is a respectable score. I do really like them. I just think that the packaging just needs a little bit of fine tuning. That brings us to the brand Waken. So this is their toothpaste. Let's talk about the packaging first off. So the actual box that it comes in is all cardboard and guess what? They didn't have a leaflet. I'm so, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of them. Well done. <laughs> so this toothpaste comes in a recycled aluminium tube. It does have a plastic cap on the end, which is a bit of a bummer. I would like to see them do something about that at some point in the future. Yeah, it gets a 10 out of 10. These have all natural flavorings in them. So the one that I got is lemon and mint um, and it does taste really nice. I really do like the flavor of it. It also doesn't have any SLS and it doesn't have any titanium dioxide, neither of which are actually like bad for you. Hi, hello, hi. Um, I did actually find one study online since uh, recording this video that's talking about um, sodium lauryl sulfate potentially giving you ulcers so um, google it if you want to know more about that <laughs> but I think it is still good that companies are striving to reduce the amount of unnecessary chemicals in their products so yeah this gets a 10 out of 10 for its nice little natural ingredients Okay, so this tube of toothpaste comes in at four pounds, which is very expensive for toothpaste. Most toothpaste you're looking one to two pounds maximum, and it'll be a much bigger tube than this. For that reason, I'm giving it a six out of 10 for price. So then to the company itself. So Waken is completely carbon neutral. They aid in anti-deforestation and reforestation programs. They also had very good customer service. They responded to me within two hours and they were very thorough in their response. I give them a 10 out of 10. I think they did a good job, good boys. <laughs> Overall, Waken Toothpaste is getting a 36 out of 40. It definitely lost points with the price. I think if the company continues to grow, the price hopefully will come down and then it'll make it much more accessible to everyone. Right that brings us to our last product again from Waken and it is the toothpaste tablet. Ugh. So packaging the actual delivery packaging I'm not gonna be able to like shake this around like I did with the other ones because it's like a fucking maraca. I'm gonna need to put it down. I'm gonna put it down. 
Um, so the packaging that it arrived in the post in, very good, no leaflet, excellent. The problem that I have with it is the fact that it's in glass. Glass is much harder to recycle than aluminium. It's worse for the environment to make aluminium than it is to make glass, but it's easier to recycle aluminium than it is to recycle glass. So the ideal container you can have is something that is made from recycled aluminium. That is the most environmentally friendly thing. It's, it's very pretty, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely package and, you know, better it being glass than plastic, but still better it being recycled aluminium, like the toothpaste. So onto the ingredients of the waterless toothpaste tablets. <laughs> the whole gimmick with waterless tablets is very similar to that of the small sprays in that they're trying to reduce the transportation of water which I get when you're talking about a cleaning spray which is 90% water but a toothpaste is not 90% water and also a toothpaste is filled the tube is filled with toothpaste whereas this container was not filled with tablets there's a lot of air you know there's a gap at the top and then there's air between every single tablet so I don't get I don't get that aspect of it to be completely honest. Um, if you do and you have a really good counter argument, tell me in the comments. But for me, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't enjoy it. It's getting a six out of ten. Um, I don't understand why it exists. <laughs> this thing is five pounds. It's so far from competitive with a regular toothpaste. You know, so asking someone to switch from their one pound huge tube of Colgate to five pounds for this. Uh, it like, for me, that doesn't work. Um, it's getting six out of 10. But the company, obviously, I've talked about it before, 10 out of 10, wonderful company. Really, really do like them. So the Waken toothpaste tablets <laughs> are getting, in total, a 30 out of 40. Like, they're fine, they work, you know, on their website, you have the choice of this or this. Get this one, I, I would say. I mean, do what you want, but you're here for my opinion, so there it is. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is drawing a close on like weeks of me rigorously testing all of these brands and products. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm actually surprised that there aren't as many like total duds. Like, oh, that seems so mean. I don't want to call this Lil Maraca a total dud, but Bleh, I don't like it um, <laughs> but everything else I freaking love I am going to keep using wild deodorant forever I small I am with you my friend I don't really understand like the the hype around like the washing tablets just yet but I will keep I will keep giving you money versus other brands to see where you go with it because your sprays are my favorite thing ever I did just dribble a little bit, but I, I love this. This is my favorite product of the whole entire thing for show. Sure. Okay, I hope that you have found this informative and you'll be able to go and spend your money with a little bit more information behind you. Um, links to all these products will be below um, as well as if I can find those wild free case codes, I will put some below. Um, yeah. See you next Tuesday and subscribe if you're interested in like van life, eco lifestyle content. That's what we're all about here. And my, my little dog is like staring at me from the front seat right now. They need to go for a WALK. So I will see you next week. Love you. Bye.